It is the Yukon Huskies, the sixth seed against the 11 seed South Florida Bulls for a spot in the conference quarterfinals in the third game of a triple header for the day. The final spot in the American quarterfinals, Yukon and USF. Well, I think Yukon's confident, but I didn't know Kevin Ali is confident. After speaking to him this morning, you know, he, he feels like this is their month, even though obviously they have been slowed and hampered by injuries, but they're back on their home court where they feel good about themselves. Couldn't get the slam to go. And the three for Christian Mattel, the freshman. And Guerrero looked like he was throwing an alley-oop for De Silva, bounced off the rim. Rodney Purvis gets it to go. Precision, energy, and confidence. UConn coming out saying this is our building and also this is our month. 9-0 run for the Huskies to start the game. And uh, the one issue right now is handling Connecticut on their home court. Primal with the follow. Murray Bartow has Bo Ziegler guarding Jalen Adams out on the perimeter. I think his size is giving him some problem. Nice effort to get the ball to the bucket. Vance Jackson over the top of Guerrero. Court early during their shoot around practice. But there he goes all the way to the bucket. Holston drives. Adams gets a piece of the ball. Purvis. Well, as Kevin Alley would say, that is UConn basketball at its best. That's what they want to do, pressure, pressure, and then attack and transition. American Conference in assists per game, and he's also the second leading scorer for the UConn Huskies. Well, he's done a nice job adjusting to his new role as a point guard and then coming out in transition, attacking, and this is what Rodney Purvis needs to do. Ball inside, but he couldn't pay it off. On the cut, the town. On the cut, but the delivery. Aggressive as an offensive player, but this is what he's not known for as a little bit of a delivery. And then the flex, no, you better run back on defense. Don't let the coach see that. <laughs> miss badly. Purvis all the way to the rim. Well, Rodney Purvis, we talked about it. He came ready to go, and tonight he has been attacking. The rack. Here's the towel. Out to Purvis for three. Purvis guarding Thorpe. That ball goes off his foot. Right to Jalen Adams. He goes end to end and gets the bucket. Pressure at the top and also just denial. And when the ball gets in the lane, just quick hands for the deflection. And then Adams just creating. And he shot the ball well from outside. Bulls need somebody to get hot to get back into this one. That's a three. 11 of that was the difference in free throw shooting. As Mattel goes up. And missed, but Prima got the rebound on the perimeter. 10-0 run for USF. Purvis. Got his own through four games in four days. You wonder if the Huskies get as the Brima gets his own put back. and cannot believe what's going on. And really, UConn, they're not cutting hard. They're not taking good shots. There's a good shot. Strike. De Silva back the other way. Runs into his own man, Santos. And Purvis will finish. This had been a 15-point Husky lead. Now it's a two-point game. Purvis trying to change that and does. Him giving a lot of help. Purvis. The circus shot for two more to seven, and it's all on the shoulders of Rodney Purvis. Well, Rodney Purvis came in here with a lot of hype, the transfer from NC State, and he has had a lot of really nice games over his career, but maybe no game is more important than tonight for him, and he has delivered in a lot of ways a complete game on both ends of the floor. It's in Hartford. Jackson. 4-3. Aaron pass through. 
picked off by Christian Vital, and he'll draw the foul. Well, you've scratched and clawed, and you're hanging around this game, and then Bo Ziegler, good effort, and then why do you foul there? Why do you hit just him on the shoulder? I don't get that. Very hard. He's got to get some help, though. There's Thorpe, and a block. He doesn't get the screen at the top. He just takes Vital off the dribble, gets an angle, and probably should have just stopped and went with the right hand. Instead, he went a little weak with the left. Two and a half to go. Seven to shoot. Adams pulls up. He's got the friendly bounce. Double team him. Now 10 to shoot for the Huskies. 40 to go in the game. Purvis pulls up. Oh my goodness! You talk about a clutch shot from long range. Well, a little step back, a little creativity, a little shot over the big fella, and a smile. And that will do it. USF played hard, fought nobly. Their season ends here in Hartford. And for Kevin Ollie and company, is this the beginning of another magical March conference tournament run?